Hey guys, Enrique here from Maven Analytics, getting ready to answer a new question from our Ask Maven series. So let's get started. For this question, Javier Obreque reached out to us via the chat on the Maven site and asked, is it possible to use the now formula to stamp the date and time into a cell one time and not have it update automatically afterwards? Well, that's a great question, Javier. And I have to say, at first glance, I thought that the answer was gonna be no, it's not possible. And that's because of the way that the now function works. The now function returns the current date and time. It's as simple as that, no arguments, just open and close the parentheses, and you get back the current date and time. And so far so good, because a timestamp requires exactly that. So what we could do is write a formula like this one where, as an employee enters his ID, and then the field stops being blank, in this case A2, then the now function will return the date and time in cell B2. However, this is a volatile function, which means that it will automatically recalculate with any workbook change. And this means that when a second employee enters his ID, both now functions will recalculate and return the current date and time, changing that time for the first employee, which no longer works correctly as a timestamp. Now, an alternative is to use this pro tip and use the control semicolon and control colon shortcuts to hard code the current date and times in the cells. But this isn't a very automated solution. So once I identified the problem with the now function, I did the natural thing and turned to Google for help. And as it turns out, you can actually use circular references to trick the now function into only calculating that first time. So let's take a look at that solution right now. First things first, a circular reference is a formula that refers to its own cell. So in this example, the sum function in cell B6 is including cell B6 in the sum range. This is a circular reference. So when you click enter, Excel returns this error. And this is because circular references are disabled by default, so that Excel doesn't enter an endless calculation loop. It's actually pretty smart. However, you can allow Excel to use circular references by going to File, Options, Formulas, and enabling Iterative Calculation, which essentially lets Excel go through the calculation loop X amount of times that you determine. So how does this fit into our timestamp issue? Well, right now our formula is asking, is the employee ID blank? If it is, then the arrival date and time stay blank. But if it isn't, then it returns the current date and time with the now function. Now we know that this is only halfway right. But if we leverage circular references, we can add this to the logic. So if the employee ID isn't blank, then we can reference the arrival date and time cell itself and ask if that is blank. And if it is, well then we can add a timestamp with the now function. But if it isn't, and the timestamp has already been added, then we can just return that same timestamp. Easy peasy, right? Now let's actually jump to Excel and do this ourselves. All right, so here in Excel, we have our employee IDs and our timestamps, which are calculated using this original formula. Now to highlight its flaws, I'm just gonna drag this down and you'll see that A, both of these recalculated, which we don't want since the timestamp now changed. And as I add more employees, all of them recalculate once more. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete all three and before we write our new formula, since this is gonna have circular references, we need to go to File, Options, Formulas, and right here in the Calculation Options, we can just check Enable Iterative Calculation. Press OK. And now we can go ahead and get started on our new formula for our timestamps. So we're gonna start the same way. We need to check if the employee ID is not blank, and then after that, we need to check if our timestamp is not blank. So if 
B2, and this is our circular reference right here, is not blank. So if there is an employee ID and there is a timestamp, then we don't want to use the now function because we already have a timestamp. We want to return that same date and time, which is going to be the value of cell B2. But if this was blank and we're just typing in our employee ID, then we want to return the current date and time, which we can do using the now function. We'll close that second if function and our final value if false, and this is going to be when our employee ID is blank, then we also want to return blank. Close our second if function, press enter, and you'll see that we get blank because we have nothing here. It's going to drag this down. You'll see that it applies for the rest of the cells as well. But as I type an employee ID, then we get the timestamp, and let's see what happens when we add the other one. Beautiful. So we got 20, 21, 29, 44, 21, 29, 51. And as we keep adding them on, you'll see that only that new timestamp is added. Beautiful. And there you have it, timestamps in Excel. I hope you guys liked this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you did so you don't miss out on any future content. You can also feel free to hit us up with any questions you may have in the comments below and we'll look to answer those in the future. But for now, that's it from me. Until next time, happy analyzing.